Now, uh, Phoebe will grace us with a live performance. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. She's clearly not playing anything right there. <laughs> oh, wow. She's lip syncing, obviously. She, look at her playing. She, you can't play with gloves on like that. Get out of here. She's not even plugged in. Look, there's no cord going to the guitar. <laughs> this is... Uh... How can she? That has to be a wig. That doesn't even look like real hair. <laughs> look, 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 look at that. You don't, you, you, why are they having her do that? This has to be a. This has to be some sort of a <laughs> I don't know, spook show or something. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, I, I, I have no idea watching this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, there's no way she could do that. <laughs> Look at that dirty ass Lauren she's all over it. <laughs> this is public public access television. Oh come on. Look at her. They taught her to do that. She don't know how to do that. You ain't playing no single notes. What? She's not even she's not even picking the strings. She's not even <laughs> oh boy. Oh, 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 yeah, there you go. She was too early on the vocals. <laughs> Is that a, those flappers <laughs> from the 20s? Oh my god. Desperate to be a star. <laughs> what is she doing? I, I don't even know what to say to any of this. Like her. <laughs> I did you see that? That <laughs> I I mean, if, she, if she's supposed to be playing like rhythm, she's not even doing it. Look at him. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, stop. Just, just stop. That's Exquisite terrible. performance, baby. It really is an honor for you to appear on, to appear on our show. <laughs> it really is an honor. Get out of here, this can't be real. Is this uh, mic for you? 
It's got it in her hair. It's got it in her hair. It's got the wig. Get it out. Oh, Very look, possibly. she's got the Jolly Roger strap. But first, if I could, don't, just, don't put uh, it like, I'd like don't, uh, don't do that. Just to uh, acquaint you a little more with the. Uh, what is going oh, on with his hair? Real critics Holy think mold. about uh, Phoebe. This is from the Sunday Times, Sunday New York Times. To appreciate oh, the impact Miss, Miss Legere has on those who witness her performances, one must know not only that she plays the piano with an enormous authority in a oh, style that baloney. encompasses Chopin, blues, ragtime, bebop, and beyond, and no. that she brings to her vocal delivery a four and a half octave range, an extraordinary no. palette of tonal color, and meticulous framing. Phrasing, I'm sorry. One must also know that she is a charismatic showman who works the audience with, a rage, with the razor-edged skill of a veteran comic, poking, teasing, and caressing it with clever turns of phrase, both musical and verbal. <laughs> and from this month's interview, June, June 19, June, they write, she has a truly exceptional voice with a multi-octave range and superb technique, and they call her a vagabond <clears throat> genius. Wow. <sighs> so, and here she is. And uh, oh, this absolute ought to be pleasure very, very uh, for you to uh, be on our show. Uh, many <laughs> people know you from the movie Mondo New York, which um, is well, about performance artists in the East Village. And I know uh, th they spliced into that some fictional material that uh, made you think not uh, quite as highly of the film because of that fictional Take material that they spli off, spliced please, in. But I'd like me. to ask you, did you get anything out of Mondo New York? David, the most important thing that I got from Mondo, New York, uh, because it cannot be regarded as a truly historical document, but I did get a lot out of it as I get a lot out of everything I do in life. Uh, I was able to meet and converse with all the different performance artists that live around the East <laughs> meet Village. Meet and preserve. And it yeah. strengthened our milieu. I found out about Joe Coleman, who's a wonderful painter. I strengthened my friendship with Joey Arias, who is Spoken a multi like a true liar. performance artist. And it was just a great learning experience. Great. Now, I've always known you as Ooh, a person who sweating. abhors she's violence, and I know it was a difficult decision uh, when you, you abhor violence. Yes. <laughs> what the hell is she doing? And I know it was a oh, difficult yeah, she uh, is. decision she for is you to accept the lit. lead role <laughs> in uh, a gory that? film such as oh, uh, Toxic Adventure she... Part 2. I wonder how do you reconcile your views as a pacifist with being in uh, such a gory action <laughs> film? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. What are well, you know, David, those flowers in like, the downtown underground film scene on her shoulders? for about five years? Really I've become extremely interested in film yeah, as the perfect fun. synthesis of music and image. Oh, what the? the underground filmmakers like Nick said and Richard Kern were using violence as a kind of stylistic choice. The red of the blood. The exaggerated facial expressions of people who were in the throes of extreme agony. Oh, All of wow. these things began to work Her their way so into the she films of the avant-garde, and so chair. I developed a kind of a stomach for it as a kind of actualized nightmare, <laughs> which might actually be beneficial to mankind. Look at and the that's guys why I began to her. make trauma movies. That's what I thought. Wow. I know that you play uh, seven instruments. What made you start playing all those instruments? Seven instruments. Get out of here. Well, David, thank you for asking me that question. I often little children ask me because their parents want them to specialize. Uh, I started playing the piano before I was even really con conscious of making a conscious choice. I used to play no, like Cecil Taylor before play I was even three years old. My parents that only took me bullshit. to my piano teacher in order to housebreak me and to make me play within the tonal the system. With your no. Soon I mastered the piano and I was playing professionally by mastered. age five. But when I was seven, I five. heard a cello for the first time. I was overcome by a feeling almost, the only way I can describe its She said its she intensity mastered was, the piano I suppose, the way an adolescent at feels three, I think. confronted with his first object of arousal. And this is the way it's been every time I've started to play a new instrument. Today, in fact, I went by a pawn shop 
and I saw some trumpets in the window. This can't be real. And I, I almost lost my mind. I'll tell you, I was going to wait till my last, next lifetime to start learning to play the trumpet, but I think I'm going to have to start right away like tomorrow. I just like to fondle a lot of different music friends, and I want to caution the children, be very careful of your hands when you're playing a lot of different... Is everything all right? When you're playing with a lot of different music friends, please, kids, oh, be careful of God. your hands. You only have There's two. There's the sexual innuendo. Okay, excellent, Phoebe. I'd like you to uh, stay around as we bring on our other guests. And we do have... Wait a minute. We didn't get to the most important thing. Which was? Which is my new business. Yes, please. I, uh, I understand yeah. you've been healing people through music? Yes. And healing in fact, I music. want to say that these are my paintings, which was the beginning of my healing work. And these are all available, as well as my music, Marilyn Monroe, Made For You, my original compositions, my record, Blonde Fox, and Blonde. my newest business, which is the subliminal tape business. Record, if we subliminal could have Subliminal tapes. Uh, mm, okay. That's Phoebe's one of record, my record, Blonde Fox. I have a new tape, which is How to Achieve the Perfect Bust. And this is for nine ninety five. If you could, Phoebe, <laughs> give us the address where people could uh, send for yes, that. Yes, Phoebe Leger, Phoebe Records. She has no suite tits. three forty seven. She has no ass. The address is uh, one forty seven one four seven Second Avenue. Gaping uh, hole for Excellent. any mail that comes and along. And now, uh, do they know how to spell my name? Uh, uh, spell it, please. P H O E B E. L-E-G-E-R-E. -E -E. Send a check to Phoebe Legere. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, and great. now uh, we Excellent. have on some uh, people from the American Sunbathing Association and other, another local organization. I'm going to have to leave now. Is it all right? It, sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sure. nice meeting you. It was look, really look. a delight. <laughs> You're you so don't smart. kiss her hand. Not, she half, is not, not one tenth classy. of the life that it was you for kiss me. Kiss a classy woman's hand. Uh, Look, she left her we guitar. Have, uh, <laughs> some, uh, people from the American Sunbathing Association on now. They're nudists. Where do you this, want them to fit? This is Charlie and Nina. Um, uh, okay, that's uh, all for this one. Uh, perhaps these two. I don't right even here. know what to say to that, but that's um, truly amazing. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.